Hi, my name is Steve Cavallaris for ElectricalTime.com. In today's video, we're going to do a product demonstration. And this is what I got in my hand. I have a GFCI tester. And you might say, hey, Steve, I mean, there's so many GFCI testers. You know, what's going to make this one special? Well, let me show you what's going to make this GFCI tester special. Well, first of all, it's made by a company. It's called Fluke, F-L-U-K-E. And obviously, you know, it's got the, the three lights, like, you know, almost all of them do. It's got a, a button here you can press for the GFI. But what makes it special, it's got this slider down here. And if you can see that there, it actually has the symbol of sound. So what happens is when you have this plugged in, it will generate a tone that you can hear if, you have, if you've got good hearing. And if you're close enough, and let's say you're trying to mark the circuit breaker panel. Now, how many times have you as the electrician gone to somebody's house or place of business and you open up the circuit breaker panel and the panel's not labeled? You don't know which breaker does what. And you're trying to figure out how to turn off a circuit so that you can work safely because you're not supposed to work while the circuit is energized. You're supposed to turn off that breaker and work safely. All right. All right. So generally the rule, what Steve says, if you're going to work on an electrical circuit, doesn't matter whether it's a receptacle, uh, if it's the light or if it's the light switch or whatever it is, turn off the breaker. Do not work live. All right. So let me give you a close up here again of this GFCI tester. And again, I told you what makes it special in my opinion. It's got that tone and you know, it's, it gives us all the different conditions here. So I'll, I'll give you a second to take a look at that. All right. So, and let me read that to you now. So it's got the correct position, open ground, open neutral, open hot, hot slash neutral reverse or hot slash ground reverse. And I got to tell you, even for the homeowners out there, it's a great tool because let's say there's something weird happening in your house and you're not quite sure. And you know, you get one of these testers, you know, and they're about 20 bucks, you know, whatever it is. And, and at least you can then call the electrician and say, listen, we've got a problem with a couple of our receptacles. You know, we're reading, um, an open ground. You know, and then, you know, the electrician is going to come over there and, and take care of that problem. And again, this, these, these videos that I do on electricaltime.com, they're really geared for the professional licensed electrician. But, you know, if you're a homeowner, please do not do your own electrical work. That's not the purpose of my videos. You know, we do electrical education. I teach the National Electrical Code and I help people to pass their exams to become master electricians. That's what I do, but I like doing these videos and I really enjoy doing these product demonstration videos. So uh, let's go plug this in and let's go see how it works. So we can see here, and I gotta reset this here, that we just saw something. We just saw something, right? So I reset the GFCI receptacle device and I'm going to test it now. Let's pay real close attention. Aha! The lights turned off for the exhaust fan up here. Also, the display turned off for the gas stove. Also, I don't know if you heard, a little motor um, we had a little motor, we have a little um, uh, mini fridge and you could hear the compressor turn off when that GFCI receptacle was tripped by using the GFCI button. So what I'd like you to do in the comments of the video, I'd like you to tell the viewers out there, is that code compliant? Is that is that the way it's supposed to be or is it supposed to be some other way? And if you can cite the National Electrical Code, if you think it's a violation, that would be fantastic. Again, when we had tripped the GFCI receptacle, 
the light for the exhaust fan turned off. And again, remember, maybe some point in the future, somebody might want to put a microwave up here, which is going to, you know, have a much larger electrical requirement than just this little exhaust fan and light. Then we have the electronics here for the gas stove. And then we also have the mini fridge, which is being powered up by that small appliance branch circuit. All right, so let's go ahead and reset this. And we can see that the light came back on. We can see the display is flashing again for the gas stove. And if you can hear that, I can hear that. I can hear the compressor. It just turned back on for the mini fridge. Now, let's do something else. Let's plug this into the other receptacle that's over there. And that's a regular duplex receptacle. It's not a GFCI receptacle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that test button on the Fluke testing device and let's see what happens. Aha, it works. So these receptacles are wired up correctly. We had those two green lights, but the question is, and in the comments, you know, is it code compliant to have, you know, the exhaust fan light and the fan on that same branch circuit? Is it code compliant? to have the gas stove uh, on that same uh, small appliance branch circuit. And the mini fridge, which is down here, is that code compliant as well to be on that small, uh, small appliance branch circuit. All right, so let's turn this back on and let there be light. All right, so um, what happened um, about a week ago, I was talking with Jeff over at the 360 Electrician and, you know, he's talking about the Fluke testing products. And I said, Jeff, you know what? The Fluke makes some really great products. Uh, maybe we should do some videos uh, promoting their products. So Jeff is going to be talking with the people over at Fluke. They got some really uh, fantastic um, uh, testing uh, equipment out there. And what we're going to you know, hopefully do for Fluke is we're going to show this on my channel on the channel for electricaltime.com and Jeff has his own channel. It's called The 360 Electrician on YouTube. And what Jeff does is really special. He's a very successful electrical contractor. And what he does, he has courses to help um, the electrical contractors to have a better business model, how to make more money and you know how to avoid you know, some liability issues out in the field. So definitely, if you're a professional electrician, go check out Jeff's website at the the360electrician.com. And also, you know, in the future, we hope to have some more videos where we're going to be uh, demonstrating the products by Fluke on how they work and, you know, what their um, uh, features are and how they can help the professional electrician save time and make more money. All right. Uh, almost forgot one thing. Uh, I have on my website, electricaltime.com. I got free code questions and answers on the National Electrical Code. Yep, they're free. You heard me right. Free questions. So just go to electricaltime.com. I got a button called uh, free NEC code questions. Just click on that you get a free email uh, Monday through Friday. And those questions are really geared for the professional electricians, um, you know, so that you can learn the code, the National Electrical Code. And again, I do that for free because I really love what I do as an electrical instructor. And I'm hoping that, you know, by doing some of these uh, free videos and free uh, questions and answers, that I'm helping people that I may never meet ever but at least I know that I'm doing everything that I can to help pay it forward for all the wonderful people that helped me to become the electrical instructor. I would have never thought over 20 years ago that I would have been become an electrical instructor, but there were some people that really believed in me and gave me a chance. And to those people, you know who you are. Thank you very much and um, just paying it forward. All right, so I uh, hope you got something out of this uh, quick video. Also, 
uh, GFCI protection in the National Electrical Code. That's going to be Section 210.8. All right, so if you got your code book, make sure you read up on 210.8. Also, the other section you should read up on is Arc Fault Protection in 210.12. Two very important sections of the code. All right, again, again, you ho I hope you got something out of this video, and we will catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.